I apparently have a bad habit of <laughs> playing this past midnight when I'm about to be tired. I was tired earlier, but apparently not this time. Uh, how's it going? I don't know. You should leave her alone. What if I want to hang out with her? When they know with her. Can just organize. If there are greens in the refrigerator, we might be able to make lunch. Ooh, boo. Let's make lunch. Nothing can. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's, Let's go to sleep. I'm so tired from getting used to your new life. You should return to your room. Yes. Yes, please. It's Wednesday. Oh. Someone! <laughs> <laughs> Is he just gonna keep doing that every day? <laughs> <laughs> you saved me. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Oh my oh god. Yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yes. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Hello, Yosuke. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Is it be all right? Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yep. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Oh, it was definitely not an accident. Of course Dangling it's right. a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. No, really. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap, we're late. Oh, I Do you want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. <laughs> I'd rather walk, to be honest. I don't like you. Be quiet, you idiots. <laughs> You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? Bro, we're teenagers, of course not. First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you. <laughs> okay, philosophy, and since I'm so nice, I'll show up your rotten attitude so I'm at it. Are you honored? Yeah, don't expect me to have a voice. <laughs> and I'll be going especially hard on any of your morons you're that are curious about the murder. Got it, I'll get your books out. You listen to the lecture attentively. Human knowledge. Wow. Getting smart. Oh, I'm dead. I'm smart. Ooh, big shot. So, you getting used to this place? Nope. <sighs> yeah, well, you just got here. Yeah, I haven't been able to. And there isn't much around. to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's no. grilled steak, man. <gasps> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Oh, he's gonna be my best friend. What oh. about me, huh? No. Oh. No apologies? Get out my of here. trial of the dragon? Who cares? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? No. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Lame. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Busy. Well, I should be on my way. Yeah. She's a good daughter, see? Oh, well. We should get going, too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? You know, it's just dine and dish on her. <laughs> Not what people do these days. I sound so old. At Junis. <laughs> this this right. is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh. They don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, that was the point. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. <laughs> Got him. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. 
Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, there's ice cream beside it. Like, be happy. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I oh. moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Oh, At least you got a family. Here. This is to welcome you to town. <laughs> Sadonaka, yours is on me, too. Yeah, I know. I really do not like her voice. I'll buy him. Conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... <laughs> you can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> I got stuck in my head now. Ooh, who's she? She looks pretty. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Ooh, he has a crush on her. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. What? I think she's working here part time though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. Oh, she's. What's up, Hanachan? So nice. Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. <laughs> Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Oh, he cares about her. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? I'm sad about that. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Sup, pretty lady. How's it going? <laughs> Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Well, not necessarily. He's a he loser. doesn't have too many <laughs> friends, so I hope you two get along good. Wow. Hanachan's huh? a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Oh, no, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. What if I said he was annoying? He'd probably hate me. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. Nice knowing you. Oh, what, uh, Senpai? Why? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Aww. Oh. You don't want her treating you Family like a zone. brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. Shut the up. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. She's a little overdramatic. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? No. You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. That sounds like a bad While idea. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear Ugh. on the screen. It's bad just because you have to stare at and yourself. And they say <laughs> that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. <laughs> How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? This is so of course lame. I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. You know what? She's trying. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Murder! Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Bro, the murder just happened yesterday. Sheesh. 
You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm Still saying you. is, you guys better try it out tonight. You have to remember about the midnight channel where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe we should try it out tonight. Why? I don't want to. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Why are you so sad? Oh. No. He always says he will. You know what? I'm gonna fight him. Oh! He's <laughs> home! Fist fight. World star. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Nah. No. You're late again. Your dad. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Why does that sound so sad? Oh, You didn't even ask if she's how she doing. Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. <sighs> My hands itching. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Excuse me. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. Miss Yamano and the TV announcer was alive. She was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mizuzu. Wow, okay, I'm just gonna butcher the name. Inca Sinner. Could the incident be tied to the lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Oh, a student found her? <sighs> An interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind <gasps> when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Ew. Ew, I hate that. The female student's face and voice are indistinct. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> but you feel you've been... You've seen her before somewhere. Don't you yeah, think it's today. scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, oh that uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? That's why she was... Huh? That's... Are you accusing her? The poor enthusiasm seems to be... Perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki. Yeah, no. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> Bruh. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. We talk about it like it's not a big deal. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Become one of those, and then maybe you'll be able to see why it's so hard to find out if it's an accident or a homicide. We'll oh, be wow. right back after these messages. <laughs> Just a thought. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. So right now I'm dancing about it because it's such a great song. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great. You're Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? Uh, he passed out. Um. No? <laughs> He's really asleep. Jeez. Aw, you can go with me. I can take you. I can take you. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Yeah, I just wake up. Wake up, you lady. Oh, I bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I bit my tongue. 
How many data can I save up to? 16. Help, I can't go upstairs. The rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to test that the room is... You should check it out in your room. Damn, I'm actually going through with it. You're right outside, it's almost midnight. It still might appear as if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> See, that's when the rain comes in and fucking kills you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. Sucked into your TV. That'd be weird. <laughs> Ow! Are you okay? Now I just bashed my head off the <laughs> desk. I heard a really loud noise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Good night. Annika seems to have returned to her room. That would have hurt. What just happened? No, we can Decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. I'm not going to talk about it now. Lame. <laughs> sorry. Oh, perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Force yourself under your umbrella. <laughs> Billy. I have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the move. <laughs> By the way, did you see it? I guess so. Yeah. Aha, do tell about the person it showed. Never mind, I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. You know something. You're on something, don't you? Why? Uh, um. Why is she doing that? It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. Let's race. Huh? Jeez, you can relax a bit. <laughs> we're both gonna run through the rain. What's is that? The point in that? Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. <laughs> Uh, am I worrying too much? Is she- Come on! Hmm. Should I skip through the freaking talking, or should I actually talk? Because I'm bad at this. <laughs> I don't do voice acting. The. My name is Kimiko... Sofu? <laughs> and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. <laughs> history is like a river. It was born in the past and flows over and forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho ho. <laughs> As this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. 
I'll transfer you, Mr. Hirota. Please stand up. With the real slim shadies, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birthday. What is the year before 180 called? <laughs> I don't know history. <laughs> You think that history that history is like math? Oh, 0 AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of zero, zero as a number. That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. Yes! Smart! with the body being hung upside down. It's so freaky. Is it oh, supposed to be this. like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. We're gonna act surprised. Y yo Um Do you do it's it? a it's not really that important, but well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Did you see me? Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. By your soulmate? <laughs> I'm your soulmate, all right. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? It. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. Oh. But... Yeah. My soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Well. <laughs> I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. It wasn't brown hair, okay. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Blurrier? Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? <laughs> How should I know? No. <laughs> How about you? Did you see it? Tell them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. I touched it, and then I fell backwards, and I made a big boom. <laughs> That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Shut if up. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. How she get... Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. I shouldn't have started this so late. What the <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. What? I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> I don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Juno's with your others. With your others? Okay. <laughs> I don't know words. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? People. I don't know. Rich folks? True. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. 
Okay. Huh. Not worth trying. Is that why we don't see many people? Well, at least looking spree. <laughs> nope. Can't get in. Figures. You're also in public, so <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. I'm gonna fight them. Ah, what am I saying? My hands are going to be thrown. So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? <laughs> they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Yeah, that small one up here. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's <laughs> the newest model, just released this spring. Shut up. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. <laughs> you got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! Just got a small little TV right here. <laughs> you know I can't do that. <laughs> it's like hey, how about something? this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. I'm just gonna buy a TV. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... So, so he sees it now? Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Yeah. <laughs> Is his arm in the TV? It's all a dream. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Sure. Hell no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Magic. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. <laughs> so how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Meow. Both of them staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. <laughs> hey, don't do that! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god! Bye, guys. What do you mean, inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry. It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? They're just gonna question it every time. Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Uh. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? <laughs> I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore. Go. Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. <sighs> what are we going to do? <laughs> get sucked in apparently Whoa. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Um. We're in the other world. So, uh, we're still alive, right? Nope, we're dead. Okay. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Get it? Butt crack. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what now? Did you wet your pants? Uh, no, stupid. Look around. <laughs> That's what he says when he pees himself. Whoa. Oh, wow. Is this a studio? All but, this but, fog. But, but. Or 
Is it smoke? No, There's it's not no fire. place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. Hell no. But man, this place is huge. Yeah. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Look around, obviously. Uh -huh. But but look, we need to get home and How are we gonna get home? Huh? Jump off the edge. Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. Shame. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? We're doomed. <laughs> No, calm down. You're right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're damned. Oh God, we're here forever. Let's calm down and think about this. Oh God, we're all gonna die. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Big brain. That's true, but. If there's no exit, we're trapped. So let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. What instinct? I know, but. We see that as our choice for now, but to continue. Onward. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? Well, I guess we're inside. No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? Oh? It's a dead end! There's no exit! It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! Just pee in the corner. My bladder's gonna explode! <laughs> Yoke, what are you doing? <laughs> Gotta let it out before I piss my pants. <laughs> You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Oh my god, I just realized what's on the roof. Ceiling. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. <laughs> uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Don't worry, if you have to go really badly, you'll go. Like I care. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Yeah. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. <laughs> what gives you that idea? It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Am I gonna get in trouble for this? <laughs> Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Uh, I'm not say it. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Body does feel heavy. Could it be due to the place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? 
There's something over there. <gasps> it's Teddy. <laughs> I love him. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! I mean, it's walking. Well, what are you? You want to fight? <laughs> Don't yell at me like that. Oh, you scared him. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It is what it it's is. It's where I live. You live here? How do we get out? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Well, calm down. Hey, what's your Fresh problem? Item. What gives you the right to yell at us like that? <laughs> what are you? Where are we? Stop yelling at what him. the heck scared. is going on here? Oh, you scared him. It's okay, Teddy. I'll keep I you. already told you. I'll keep you safe. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Stop yelling at him. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? She'll let us out, dude. What? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Magic. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. <laughs> What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! <laughs> so me, they're scared. Back home. Is this? Yes. Did we make it back? Yes. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? Now. All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Yes. Well, I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. She's Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that yes. I think about it, there was that creepy... Yes. Let's not yeah, that. Stop! <laughs> no more! We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. Or your bladder. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Me, when I wake up. <laughs> uh, me, every day. Hey, welcome home. Instant Robin. Where's mine? That's me. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. Oh, Lord. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh. <sighs> 
work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Amagi Inn, it's the inn that you can, uh, you... <laughs> she had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. <laughs> the manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, That's not I see. Weird. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. <laughs> That's not weird at the all. rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at a mar ma 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 Oh my god, I just... <laughs> and it seems the whereabouts of Saki, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. I don't... Bless you. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? By then, the news should be You warm. should get to bed after you take it. Whatever. 